Namaste. Welcome to my channel. I am Ekta Singh. Today we'll be learning how to do Ardha Vishwamitrasana. If you like the class, do share, like and subscribe. Let's begin. Now put your right palm to your right side and slide your right palm to the right, lifting your left arm up. Lean on to your right side, open your chest to the left. Stay here, breathe. Slowly bring yourself back to center. Drop your left palm down. Right arm in line with your ear. Move your right arm straight. Look up towards the ceiling. Open your chest. Slowly inhale, come back to center. And exhale, release your palm down. Take a twist to your right side. Use your left hand to hold your right knee. Right arm behind on the ground. Open your chest. And twist yourself as much as you feel comfortable. Slowly come back to center. Now twist to the other side. Turn your chest. Use your right hand to hold your left knee. And stay here. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, release your arms. Now stand up. Stand to the front of your mat. We'll be doing a few rounds of uh, modified Surya Namaskar. Stand in front of your mat. Keep your feet together, palms in front of your chest. Take a deep inhalation and lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your both elbows, elbows bent at 90 degree angle and open your chest, look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, up to center and exhale, bend to your right side, you can interlock your finger or just hold your palm, bend to the right. Inhale, come to center and exhale, bend to the left side. Inhale, center, one more up, bend to the right and exhale out, stay here, breathe, use your core muscle. Inhale, come to center and exhale, bend to your left side. Inhale, center and exhale, once again, bend your elbows at 90 degree angle, lift your chest up, look up towards the ceiling, inhale and exhale, start leaning forward and down. Into Uttanasana, breathing your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, halfway up. Get into flat back. Exhale, release your palms down. Take your legs behind. Get into plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees, chest, and chin down. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lift your hips up. Inward, take. Press your head and chest down, knees down. If you have awareness of your shoulder blades, then try to move your shoulder blades away from each other, turning your biceps up. Slide bending your knees a little between your palms, step your legs forward, bring it close to your palms, take a deep inhalation and exhale, bring your head and chest close to the knees. And inhale, stretch your arms up, look at your thumb. And exhale, bend your elbows, open your chest, look up towards the ceiling, inhale. And exhale, start leaning forward and down, bringing your palms down towards the ground into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up into flat back. Exhale, take your right leg behind, drop your right leg into lower lunge, push your hip below. Knees slightly above the ground and look up. Stay here. If you like, you can wiggle yourself back and forth, creating some sort of stretch in your right thigh. Keep moving back and forth. Now from here, take your left leg behind and get into inward ten feet. Press your head and chest down. Press your knees down. Engage your core. Rotate your biceps out. Inhale, come into back pose and exhale, drop your knees, chest in between your palm and chin down. Inhale, slide forward into cobra, 
Excellent. Bend your knees and take a cat pose here. Around your back. Squeeze your stomach in. And slowly drop your hips on your heels. Get into child's pose. And before you go into complete child, tuck in your toes. Lift your hips up. Get into inverted knee. Push your hips up. Straightening out your knees. Feel that stretch deepening in your shoulders. Breathe. Then slowly set your right leg forward in between your palm. Set the other leg forward. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale. Bring your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale. Stretch your arms up. Look at your palm. And exhale. Bend your elbows. Open your chest. Lift your chest up. Look up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. Start leaning forward and down. Repeating the same thing on the other side. Release your palms down. Inhale. Halfway up into a flat back. Exhale. Take your left leg behind. Front knee bent into low lunge. Keep your left knee close to the ground. Keep your chest lifted. Look up. Breathe here. Again, you can go back and forth. Coming on to the tippy toe behind. Stay. Now slowly take your right leg behind and just to invert and be. Take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale, out. Inhale, come to plank pose, and exhale, drop your knees, chest, and chin down. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lift your hip, round your back, squeeze your stomach in into cat pose. And then slowly start dropping your hips towards the heels, stacking your toes midway. And push your hips up, straightening out your knees into inverted V or downward dog. Now slowly step your left foot in between your palm. Step your right leg also forward. Take a deep inhalation and exhale. Bring your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Open your chest. We'll be adding some asanas here itself. Inhale and exhale, start leaning forward and down. Bring your palms down towards the ground. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, take your right leg behind. Once again, get into low lunge pose. Push your hip low. Right knee slightly above the ground. Now from here, keeping your palms on the ground, straighten out your left leg in front of you. If you're unable to reach down, you can use your hands to grab your left ankle instead of reaching your palms down. Stay in here. Try to keep your chest close to the left knee. Try to balance in this position and feel that stretch in the back of your left leg. Breathe here. Stay. Now slowly release your both palms in front of you, bend your left knee, take your left leg behind, get into inverted feet, press your chest down towards the ground. Now from here, either you use your left hand to directly hold your right leg, right ankle and turn your chest to the right side. But if the accessibility is not there, then walk your palms slightly behind and then use your left hand to hold your right ankle and turn your chest to the right side. Take the hold, whichever is comfortable for you, and then twist to the right side, maintaining this position for five, four, three, two, one. Release your left palm down, bring it back to its initial position, and step your right leg forward in between your palm. Step your left leg forward. Take your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, stretch your arms out. Exhale, bend your elbows. Open your chest. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward and down on the other side. Release your palms down. Head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, take your left leg behind. Bend your right knee. Drop your hip low, bringing your knee close to the ground. Arm is still supporting you. Now from here, straighten out your right leg. Either keep your palms on the ground or hold your ankle. 
uh, holding ankle is more challenging I feel because you need to balance as well. Stay here, breathe. Taking deep breaths, feeling the stretch in the back of your heart today. Now slowly release both palm down, bend your right knee and take your right leg behind, getting into inverted feet. Press your head and chest down. Now from here, inhale, plank pose, exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, bend your knees, round your back, squeeze your stomach in, into cat pose. Drop your hip low, tucking your toes and lift your hips up, coming into inward feet. Stay here, breathe. Now adjust your palm, either let it be here or move it closer to your legs. And then use your right hand to grab the outer edge of your left ankle and turn your chest to the left side. Maintain this position for five, four, three, two, one. Release your right palm back to its initial position and step your left leg forward in between your palm. Step your right leg forward, bring your head and chest close to the knees and inhale. Stretch your arms up, exhale, bend your elbow, and do more asanas. Open your chest, inhale, and exhale, something forward and down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, palms down, take your right leg behind. Drop your right knee low, but not touching the ground. Stay here, keep breathing, inhale, and exhale, straighten out your left leg. You're not going to stay here for long. Just take a quick little stretch. Again, bend your left knee, drop your hip low, let your right palm be on the ground. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Open your chest to the left side and look at your left fingertip. Keep your back leg engaged, keep your left thigh close to the chest, maintain this position and breathe. Stay. Now slowly circle your left arm, bring it close to your ear and then bring it down towards the ground inside of your left leg. Rotate your right heel down, we're getting into side angle pose. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling, hip low. And then bring your right arm in line with your ear. Open your chest, look up towards the ceiling. If this is too complicated, stay on your elbow. Stay with your elbow on your left thigh, right arm in line with your ear. Look at your right fingertip, pushing your hip low, stomach holding, engage. Engage your right entire foot. Stay. Now maintain this position. You'll only straighten out your left leg. Release your left palm either on your left ankle or shin or keep it on the ground. Right arm in line with your ear. Maintain this position for five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly start bending your right knee, dropping your hip to the right side. Drop your hip to the right side. Left leg is straight. Now completely drop your hip down. Use your left hand to hold your right ankle. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. Bend to the left side. If possible, hold your left and left toe or ankle or else just keep your right arm in line with your ear. Let your right knee be pointing out towards the ceiling. Maintain for five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale slowly up to center and exhale. Lift your hip up, go towards the front, bring your palms in front of you. Step your right leg forward. Take a deep inhalation and exhale. Bring your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, stretch your arms up and exhale. Bend your elbows, open your chest, look up. And exhale, starting you forward and down. Bring your head and chest close to the knees. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, take your left leg behind. Bend your right knee. 
Drop your hip low into low lunge. And from here, straighten out your right leg. Bring your head and chest close to the right knee if possible. Or you can hold your ankle and stay wherever your body allows you to. Breathe here in this position. Once again, bend your right knee and keep your palms on the ground. Right palm stays below, sorry, left palm stays below left shoulder. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Look at your right fingertip. Engage your back leg. Stay. Breathe. Keep lengthening your spine. Right thigh pressing into your stomach. Stay. Now slowly circle your right arm, bring it close to your ear and then bring it down inside of your right foot. Rotate your left heel down, left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Now left arm is up towards the ceiling and then bring your left arm in line with your ear. If this is too much for you, you can stay with your elbow on your right thigh. And lift arm in line with your ear, maintain this position and breathe. Keep taking deep breath, feel the stretch happening on your left side. Now maintain the position of your arm and just straighten out your right leg. Right palm goes either on your right ankle or shin or drops down towards the ground. Stay here. Five. Four, three, two, now slowly bring your left palm down, bend your left knee and drop your hip to the left side. Drop your hip completely down and just come down on your left side. With your left knee pointing up, use your right hand to hold your left ankle. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale and exhale, lean on your right side. Either keep your left arm in the air, close to your ear or lean slightly more forward. Find your big toe, open your chest, stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up to center. And exhale, palm down. Now, try not using support, but if not possible, then use the support, lift your hip up. And then come towards the front, release your palms down. Step your left leg forward. Bring your head and chest close to the knees. And inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, open your arms up to the side and release your palms down. Now, open your both legs sideways so you so that your legs are three to four feet apart now from here we'll try to get a little deeper into our middle split so if you feel this is your maximum stay here you don't have to go further than this if you feel you can go further i'm going to take this support and separate my legs more apart you can also try doing that with your palms down on the ground separate your legs apart so without pressure, this is my maximum. So you can stay at your maximum and drop your elbows down if possible, only if it's possible. If not possible, stay on your top. This is also good enough. Stay, keep breathing. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Deep breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, so you come back to your palm if you're not already. Take the support of your palm and start dropping your hip down towards the ground. This might be a little challenging if flexibility is less. So you can bend your knees and then try to do that. I'm going to move slightly forward. You would require some space behind, so make sure you don't stick to the wall behind. Now from here, I either keep your thighs tight or point your toes towards you, whichever is more comfortable for you. So I'm going to keep my thighs tight and I'm going to push my pelvic region behind. So I use my hands, take the support 
and push my pelvic region behind so that I get more flexibility while doing forward fold. Now keep your palms in front of you, spine long, take a deep inhalation and exhale, start leaning forward and um, go as far as you are comfortable. Keep breathing here. Stay for so five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, slowly walk yourself up, lifting your head up, chest up. Now from here, take your both palms to your left side. Bring in your chest also to your left side. Now walk forward towards your left leg. Use both hands to hold your left toe and bring your chest to your left knee. Maintain this position. Stay here. Breathe. The more stretch you can get on your right side, better it is. So try to walk your right palm closer to your left leg. Stay here, breathe. Now slowly lift your head up, chest up, come out of it. Watch the next one before trying to do this one. So bring your left shoulder close to your left leg. If you feel that your left shoulder is touching your left thigh, and then only try the next step. So next step is either right arm in line with your ear or you can grab your left leg using your right hand. So this is the second step. If you feel this is possible, stay here. If you feel you can go any further than this, then watch it out. You start rolling yourself. That's why we need space behind. I think I might have to move slightly more forward. So you I'll adjust my shoulder once again. Hold my left toe. And you'll start rolling back and lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Right leg lifts up. You're holding your left leg still. Now release your right leg down towards the ground. You will feel the stretch increasing on your right side. You can stay here for a few counts. And to come out, you'll again lift your right leg up. Use some momentum to come back to the initial position. So I'm going to do that again with you. If you are able to go to the third step, well and good. Otherwise, please maintain the side bend. So let's try it out. Bring your left shoulder close to the left leg, left thigh. Keep your left arm relaxed. You're not using your left arm as of now. Use your right hand to reach out for your left leg. Open your chest, look up towards the ceiling. Now from here, if you feel you're comfortable, start leaning back on your right side, lifting your right leg up. And then you release your right leg on the ground to increase the side stretch. Let's stay here in this position for five, four, three, Two, one, lift your right leg again up. Now use the momentum, use your kick to come back to initial position and then lift yourself up. If it happened, well and good. If it didn't happen, don't worry. There's always the next time. Now let's try on the other side, but first we'll do forward fold. So turn your chest to the right side. Lean forward from your chest. Use your both hands to grab your right leg. Right toe, right ankle, wherever you reach. So when you do this, you might feel that your left hip is lifting up. So you use your right hand to adjust your hip and then try to reach forward on your right side. Maintain this position. Now slowly. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up. Let's try that A trick on the other side as well. So bring your right shoulder down. Try to bring your right shoulder inside of your right leg. Right arm is relaxed. Use your left hand and hold your right toe 
if possible. And then start leaning back on your left side, lifting your left leg up towards the ceiling. Once your left leg is up, release your left leg down on the ground and just focus on the stretch. Stay here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift your left leg back up towards the ceiling. Use the same momentum to lift yourself up to the initial position. And then inhale. Lift yourself up. Come back to center. That was an awesome stretch. Now bring your knees close to each other. Use your both hands to grab your knees. And bring your knees close to each other. Hug your knees. Release that tension. And then come into all fours position. So we are going to try out Ardha. Vishwamitasana. So come into all fours position. Now if you have knee pain, I would recommend keep something under your right knee. Palm right below the shoulder. Turn your right toe to the right side. Take your left leg in line with your right knee. And left arm in line with your left ear. Keep your chest open. This is one position. So in this position, you'll push your hip up towards the ceiling, stretch your side body, your head is going towards the ground, your hip is going up towards the ceiling. Stretch your side body, we are going to use this movement in our next one. Now from here, slowly inhale, lift your head up, chest up, come on your right knee, stretching your both arms to the side. And then release your left palm on your left leg. Right palm in line with your ear. Stretch on the right side. Good. We'll be repeating this four more times. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, put your right palm down. Lean on your right side. Inhale, come up to center. And exhale, lean on the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Last one. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Push your hip up. Inhale, center, exhale, left. And we pause here. Right arm in line with your ear, trying to bend more to your left side. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come to center and exhale, palms down. Now you might have to watch me for the next one. So I'm going to adjust my knee so that I can show you the next one. So you turn your left toe to the left side. Keep your hip and your left knee in one line. Push your hip to the left side, creating a stretch in your right inner thigh. And drop your left palm inside of your left leg. Right arm in line with your ear and open your chest. Let's try this out. Keep your left palm inside of your left leg. Right arm in line with your ear and chest open. Maintain this position. For five, you're trying to push your hip closer to your left leg. Four, three, two, take your right arm behind your back. Do it along with me. You'll be taking a bind. Take your left hand inside of your left leg and hold your fingertips. Try to make a bind. Keep your chest again open. Don't look down. Don't turn your chest up. Instead, turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Maintain this position for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, release, and exhale, come out. Now I'll be showing you how to do Artha Vishwamitrasan. So I keep this to protect my knee. Now you keep your left leg to the left side. Take your left hand. 
inside of your left leg so that your shoulder also goes inside of your left leg. Scoop yourself so low that your elbows are almost touching the ground. Now after you get this position of your shoulder, you put your left palm down outside of your left leg. Once you do that and you try to lift your chest up, your leg will automatically lift up. And after this, you use your right hand to grab hold of your left outer edge and then start lengthening your leg. Either you stay here and try to stabilize yourself or you try to straighten out your leg, open your chest, open your chest and look up. Stay here as long as you can and then slowly let your knee and release your leg down. So I'm going to try it again along with you. So let's try from the beginning. Take your left arm inside of your left leg. Scoop low. First thing is to adjust your shoulders so low that your palms, your elbows can drop down. It's that low. And then you drop your left palm outside your left foot. Now start lifting your chest. Lift your chest so that your leg also lifts up. Your left leg will come above the ground. Once your leg is up, use your right hand to grab your leg. Try to stabilize in this position. Either you just stay here in this position or you start lengthening. Now we'll go to the other side. So keep something under your left knee if your knee is slightly sensitive. I'm going to change my direction. Now from here, turn your left toe to the left side. Take your right leg in line with your left knee and stretch your right arm in line with your ear. First we'll do the side stretch and then we'll get it our final posture. So push your hip up, bring your right arm in line with your ear, inhale and exhale, lift your head up, chest up, lean on your right side. Bend to your right side, bend as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, lean on your left side. Right arm in line with your ear. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, lean on to the right side. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, left side. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Last one, inhale, center, exhale, left. Push your hip, open your chest, look up towards the ceiling, inhale, and exhale, lift your chest up, lean on your right side. Bring your left arm in line with your ear, stretch your side, stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, release your palm down. Now adjust your leg. I'm going to turn my knee slightly. Turn your right toe to the right side. Keep your right knee and your hip in one line. Now from here, start pushing your hip to the right side, bending your right knee. Bring your right palm inside of your right foot. Take your left arm in line with your ear. Stretch your hip and open your chest. Look up towards the ceiling. Maintain this position for five, four, three, Two, one, take your left hand behind your back. Take your right hand inside of your right leg and make a bind behind. Open your chest. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Open your chest. Maintain this position again. Look up towards the ceiling. For five, four, three, 
two, one, release your palm and slowly come out of the posture. Now we'll try our Vishwamitrasana on this side. So let's do this together. Either you stop at one point where you feel this is it for you or you go along with me. It's your choice, okay? So let's try to take our shoulder, right shoulder, inside of the right leg. Scoop yourself down. Bring your right thumb outside your right leg. Once you get that, start lifting your chest up. Turn your chest to the left side. Your right leg will automatically lift up. Once your right leg is up, use your left hand to grab your right toe or side of your right leg and start extending your leg up. Maintain this position. Stay here for five, four, three, Two, one. Slowly bend your right knee and release your right leg down. Release your right arm. Take out the cushion if you have any on your knees. Now from here, drop yourself into child's pose, releasing any kind of tension you might have built up in your back muscle. Lie down. Put your forehead on the ground. If you feel your arms are also hurting, keep your palms by your sides and relax yourself here. Breathe in this position. Slowly lift your head up, chest up. Last side stretch. It will involve our Gomukhasana leg as well. So keep your right leg on the ground and put your left leg on top of your right. Try to stack your knees on top of each other if possible. If that's not possible, it's okay. Even this is alright. We are not working on the hips, so you might not feel very open on your hips. Just try to stack your knees if possible. Put your right palm to your right side. Slide your right palm, lift your left arm up. Lean on your right side. If possible, drop your right elbow down on the ground. If possible. If not possible, keep your elbow up. It's alright. Don't lift your left hip up while you're trying to drop the elbow down. Hip stays on the ground. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, drop your left elbow down on the ground. If possible, right arm in line with your ear. Chest open. Inhale up to center and exhale palm down. Now change your leg. Bring your right leg on top. Stack your knees on top of each other if possible. Palms by your sides. Spine long. Inhale. Exhale. Lean on your right side once again. Chest open. Look up. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, left palm down, right arm in line with your ear. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, release your right palm down. Now, release your both legs in front of you. So you drop yourself down on the mat. Bring your both knees into the chest, hug your knees, we are reaching towards the end of the class. Hug your knees into the chest. Roll yourself side to side, releasing the tension from your spine. Slowly come back to center. Straighten out your legs on the ground. Relax your palms, relax your leg. Keep your legs apart, palms apart. Palms facing out. And relax yourself in Shavasana. If you feel any sort of back pain, you can keep your knees bent instead and let your back relax on the ground. Maintain the contact of your back with mat. 
Breathe in. Focus on your stomach movement. See how it moves when you inhale, close up. When you exhale, deepen your stomach. Now slowly bring your feet together, stretch your arms above your head, interlock the fingers and stretch. Exhale, release. Turn to one side and sit up. Sit in cross link, both hands on your knees and chin mudra.